thank you so much for watching. It is Wednesday morning, so it's time for the Wednesday morning devotional. Let's bow our heads and begin in prayer. Dear Lord, I thank you for this morning. I thank you for all that you've blessed us with. Lord, I pray that everyone watching this video, Father, Father that you would speak by your Spirit to their, to their heart, Father, that they would have ears to hear and a heart to receive your word, Father, that your Spirit would go forth and touch them in a real and a powerful way, and that you would continue to transform them from glory to glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Well, I named this devotional Remembering, and I just wanted to read a passage from 1 Peter and verse 3 through 9, and this is kind of his introdu introdu introduction to, to this letter, and so many of the letters uh, of the apostles, or the letters written to the churches in the New Testament, start out in a similar vein to this, but he says, All praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is by his great mercy that we have been born again, because God raised Jesus Christ from the dead. Now we live with great expectation, and we have a priceless inheritance, an inheritance that is kept in heaven for you, pure and undefiled, beyond the reach of change and decay. And through your faith, God is protecting you by his power until you receive this salvation, which is ready to be revealed on the last day for all to see. So be truly glad there is wonderful joy ahead. Even though you have to endure many trials for a little while, these trials will show that your faith is genuine. It is being tested as fire tests and purifies gold, though your faith is far more precious than mere gold. So when your faith remains strong through many trials, it will bring you much praise and glory and honor on the day when Jesus Christ is revealed to the whole world. You love him even though you have never seen him. Though you do not see him now, you trust him, and you rejoice with a glorious, inexpressible joy. The reward for trusting him will be the salvation of your souls. And I love this passage because it fixes our eyes on the salvation that comes through Jesus, and the salvation that comes through Jesus that has come to us by faith. And through or in spite of trials, and, and even uh, puts a perspective of rejoicing through trials because it's testing and refining our faith. And he speaks to joy, and that we can rejoice with inexpressible joy at our salvation, at what Jesus has done for us. And I name this devotional Remembering because as Christians, we so often can get sidetracked or, or have so many thoughts about different things and theology and teaching, or maybe we're, we just think about all the things that we have to do today, or all the things that we have, we need to get done, all the plans that we have, or, or maybe we're carrying the burden in prayer for someone or a situation that isn't uh, what it should be, or, or uh, there's something in our heart about that, and we can focus on all these other things. And here in First Peter, he starts off his me his letter by focusing on salvation and the joy that comes from it, and the fact that God is protecting us by our faith. And I just love this verse, and it, re and it reminds me to to worship and to praise and to thank God for for what He has done on the cross what he's done through giving Jesus, his son, to us, that we can rejoice because we've received salvation through faith. And it's good to remember that, that why are we praising God? You know, we have always have a reason to praise God. We always have a reason to worship because God sent his son Jesus into the world to rescue us from a life of sin, to rescue us from spiritual death. And now we're spiritually alive. And that's true every day that we wake up. We have an inheritance, pure and undefiled. Nothing that happens on this earth can touch the inheritance that we have in heaven and the honor and glory that waits us in heaven for those that stay the course, for those that keep faith, 
through trial. And you know, I came in and, and kind of was playing and, and just singing, and I just felt the presence of God, and I felt a joy come into my heart. And it's not a new feeling for me, because if you've experienced uh, worship, if you've experienced praise, you know that God sends, uh, that, that that is a common experience. Well, God, God uh, joy can will well up into our hearts when we begin to praise Him, when we begin to think on Him, and when we begin to remember what He's done, what, to remember what Jesus has done. And you know, that's a constant in the life of a believer. That's a constant in the life of those who call upon the name of Jesus. Well, we always have that. No matter what situation we're going through, no matter what's going on, no matter what we see with our eyes, whether we're praying for someone for healing and we haven't seen that happen yet, whether we're praying for a situation and we haven't seen that happen, or, or we haven't seen the change yet, uh, whether we wake up in the morning and we've got a thousand things to do and we're so busy, or whether we wake up and we've got a trial that we've just been going through over and over again, none of that has any impact on the inheritance that's pure and undefiled, that's waiting in heaven for us. And so because of that, there's nothing that should be able to touch the joy that we can have in just thinking on that, meditating on that, remembering what Jesus has done for, for me and for you, who've, and for everyone who's received the blood of Jesus. And because of that, we can always enter into a place of praise. We can always reach a place of, of inexpressible joy, inexpressible joy, because of what Jesus has done. And though we, we may go through various trials on this earth, various trials, and they can test our faith and refine our faith, we still, those who, who are grounded and rooted on the rock, the foundation that is Jesus, the cornerstone that is Jesus Christ, can always have a place of joy. And maybe that all, doesn't always make sense to our minds with all the things that are going on around us or all the situations that we're going through. And maybe even our mind can try to pull us away with a, yeah, but, yeah, but I've got to get this done. Yeah, but I've got to focus on this. Yeah, but this situation is still there. But when we, when we come into, the, into God's presence with praise and rejoicing, it helps remind us of what Jesus has done. And vice versa, when we remember what Jesus has done, and when we can read the Bible and say, man, I, God is protecting me through my faith in Jesus Christ, and all these things don't, can't touch what God has waiting for me in heaven. Man, it's, it's those things that can bring us into a place of rejoicing. And so one worship can lead us to that place, and then that place of, of faith in Jesus Christ and remembering what Jesus has done can lead us into worship. And so that's a cycle of joy and a cycle of rejoicing and a cycle of remembering and keeping in our at the front of our hearts, at the front of our minds, at the front of our character, and at the front of, at the front of our emotions even. We can come to a place of keeping Jesus at the front and first in all these areas. And so, so that even though we can be, um, we can be affected for a moment with circumstances, we can always come back to remembering what Jesus has done. And so whether your circumstances in a particular area are good or bad or some good or some bad, our heavenly circumstances are glorious and full of joy because of what Jesus has done. And so this morning, let's remember that through our day. And let's remember that in our worship and in our praise. And let's let that bring us to a place of rejoicing in Christ Jesus. And let it, and let it bring it, us to a place of security and comfort, knowing that our life is hidden with Christ. Amen. Dear Lord, I thank you for everyone watching. I pray that your peace 
the peace of God, the comfort of God would come over them. Father, they would rejoice in their salvation. That joy would spring up from within them. That peace would spring up from within them. That a that the, the, the state of righteousness that they are in because of Christ Jesus, Father, that knowledge would come and bring them peace, bring them comfort, bring them joy, bring them all the things that you have for them in the Holy Spirit. And Lord, I speak to any circumstance, Father, that as they fix their eyes on you, Father, that you would uh, touch that circumstance, change it in Jesus' mighty name, that they would see the salvation of God in that circumstance, in G right now, in Jesus' mighty name. And I bless them in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God bless you. Thank you so much for watching. And hopefully I'll see many of you uh, tonight at Alabaster House. Mm -hmm.